battle for the championship forever engraved into history. Time to look back at these famous rivalries. J-League, battle for the championship. Let's go back to the year 2017, the year Kawasaki Frontale was crowned champions for the first time in history. Twenty-five years since the start of the J-League, the two-stage system went back to one since 2014. All eyes were on for the new season. Expected to be champions two years in a row were Kashima Antlers. In his third year, Masatada Ishii, despite losing their opening game, takes them on a good run. Antlers take four wins on the trot from match week two. Three of them were one nil, a great start to the season. Kawasaki Frontale welcomed the new manager, Oniki, replacing the famous pass-loving Kazama. Formidable player, MVP Kengo Nakamura led the way, reinforced by introductions from Ienaga and Abe. Nicknamed the Silver Collector for their knack on missing out on narrow margins for the title, Frontale look to finally capitalize on their skills. However, they did not have an attractive start to the season. First three games looked rather good. However, Match week four, the derby against FC Tokyo, named the Tamagawa Classico. A 3-0 loss to their rivals in their fourth match. Things did not look bright. Injuries result in a failure to win. Three draws and a loss from match week six condemned them to ninth place. Antlers were having a challenging time too. Losing Sorezzo on match week six. And another home loss to Dribilo on match week eight. And another defeat at home against Vissel Kobe match week 11. What was happening to the boys in their long standing fortress, Kashima Soccer Stadium? Match week 12, Antlers and Frontale battle it out. Both desperately in need of a win to wake themselves up. The game bursts into action in the 19th minute from this play.
What a counter. Antlers failing to capitalize on their chance. Frontale taking it mercilessly. Frontale getting into action. Second half. Antlers look to fight back. But this man stands firm. His heroic saves lead to Frontale's third goal. Three nil to Frontale at the end of the day. For Antlers, another defeat at home. Unfortunately for them, an exit in the ACL led to the manager's sacking. Unbelievable considering Ishii led the team to triumph in the year before. It was time to say goodbye. Frontale looked to grow on their win against Antlers. Last game the first half of the season against Vissel Kobe. Attack and defence combined fantastically for an impressive display. Two goals and two assists from the formidable Arbe. Five goals for the team and up the table they go to sixth place. Really looking for their first championship. However... Back from the dead came revived Antlers. Taking the reins from Ishii was club legend Go Oiwa. A change in manager changes the landscape. An amazing five wins since his employment. Nine games without a loss, and suddenly on 25 points, they are leading the pack. Match week 22. Antlers and Frontale battle for the second time in the season. Antlers ride into Todoroki, looking for revenge. The game ends yet again in a three-goal win for Frontale. First taste of defeat for Oiwa in his 10th game in charge. Even after a victory, Frontale were four points behind. They could not afford to lose. Captain Yu Kobayashi shows everyone who's boss. Last pass, shoot again. 
in the six games from match week 23 to 28, he scores five goals, working as a catalyst for the team. Match week 29, Kobayashi does it again. ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。ゲット。
Antlers versus Jubilo. Victory needed once again for the championship. They just can't get the ball in the net. Frontale have to win without a question. They explode into life with kickoff against Ardija. On the other hand, Atlas just cannot find their target. Frontale continue to prevail, but they can only hope for Antlers to fail. Instead, they continue with their task ahead. Five goals does the trick. Now all they can do is wait in sheer anticipation for the good news. Tears for Antlers. The game ends in a draw. From Talia, crowned ahead on goal difference. この必ず勝つって約束して今日も勝てなかったので、いやもう本当申し訳ないと思ってます。はい。またこれで一段と強くなるための試練と思って頑張ります。Goodbye to being silver collectors. Their first title in history. 来年からは新しく星のついたユニフォームで。a year never to be forgotten. Kawasaki Frontale Champions. Like, subscribe, push notification. Like, subscribe, push notification.